Hello everyone, hope you're all good. So this is a video to respond to the H3 podcast. It's an American podcast. I was sent to it last week. Uh, the host, Ethan Klein, had a guest on Brittany Broski, real name Brittany Tomlinson, I think. Episode 249, I was sent footage from it. They were discussing one of my previous guests, Andrew Tate, the My Life is a Pimp podcast. Very outspoken character, very um, controversial. Uh, so I get that people are going to speak about it. I understand that. Like, that's what it's all about, free speech and having an opinion. But the stuff that I heard those two talking about was very disturbing. It's disgusting. And I can assure you it's no laughing matter. Uh, speaking about some vile stuff. And you had a cheek to be slagging off Andrew Tate, if I'm honest, because the stuff that you were saying was a hundred times worse. And both of you have got millions of followers, you should know better. But uh, very disturbing and very sad to see two grown adults talking some absolute shit and laughing about it as if it was funny. I'm going to play the footage for everyone to see just now. Let's watch so it. So how do those four girls ex Oh, <laughs> see, this is the people who watch them. They go, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> guy you know his fan the people who watch him are one bad day away from shooting up a school <laughs> i'm just being honest you know what i mean this dude looks like his mommy dressed him for this interview like his mommy tried to wax his eyebrows too and it didn't work looks like his mommy molested him that's why it's the way he is let's just be honest this is mommy's fault he was diddled as a boy oh yeah oh for sure you can tell when someone's been diddled or if they're a diddler. He could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> Except <laughs> just to... And as you can see, pretty sick stuff to say that my mum molested me. Thankfully, I've never been abused as a kid, but I know plenty of people have. I've had plenty of people on this show who have, who have been abused, and I know how hard that is for them to come forward and actually speak their story out and show strength, like... It's no, nothing to be joked about. I'm all for having a laugh and a joke, but I find that chat very disturbing. Uh, my mum's actually seen that footage where she was upset. It was actually a survivor who sent me that footage also, who was very upset. Um, I've had many people on this podcast from Stephen Smith, who whose parents locked him in the basement for 13 years while abusing him every single day. I've had the likes of Barbara O'Hare, who released the hospital book, um, where doctors were drugging the kids, raping the kids and killing the kids. And I know how hard it was for Barbara and Stephen to come forward and tell their story. And I can assure you, Ethan, it is no laughing matter. And the sad thing is, Ethan, is you are a father yourself. Like, how would you feel for me to sit here and say you abuse your kids? Your wife ab abuses your kids. Like, that's nothing to joke about. That's nothing to laugh about. It's nothing to... Uh, be proud of of sitting on your podcast talking absolute shit about some serious stuff you should be ashamed and you should be embarrassed of what you were saying like your kids should be your life like you should want to protect them and, and making jokes like that is uh, is pretty sickening if I'm honest and Brittany's sitting there laughing as a woman again you should be ashamed Brittany Ethan, you spoke about also people who watch me and follow me are one bad decision away from shooting up a school. As an American, I don't think that stuff should be coming out your mouth as America is known to has the worst rate in school shootings on this planet. And again, as a father yourself, I don't think you would be laughing if you got the phone call to say your kid's school has been shot up. Because and I can assure you, again, it is no laughing matter. As if I, I have had many people on my podcast who have lost their own kids to gun crime and knife crime. And when you're sitting across from these people and they're breaking their heart, pouring it all out, and you're making jokes about shit like that, you should be ashamed of yourself. With such fucking high uh, profiles, you both have with millions of followers, and um, people probably looking to you for inspiration and you're talking and laughing about stuff like that and, and normalising it as if it's okay, as if it's cool, when in reality you should be ashamed. I think you should maybe actually sit across from a survivor and let hear them speak 
about their pain. It's not fucking funny of listening to someone being abused from a kid, from friends or family members, breaking their heart. And the worst of it is, a lot of people who were abu abused as kids actually blame themselves. I mean, people like you and Brittany are talking about laughing and joking about people being abused by parents as if it's funny. You make people not want to come forward because, again, why you could see the funny side that is beyond me. Thankfully, like I've said, I've never been abused. But can you imagine I was and you're saying that my mum abuses me? I'm all for having a laugh and a joke, but that stuff was too far, too far. And you have a cheek to slag off Andrew. I get it. The stuff that Andrew says, I don't agree with. Some stuff I do. That's life. But you took it far too far to be saying the stuff that you were saying. I think you owe an apology to the abusers. I think you owe an apology to myself. But again, I don't know if you will be adult enough to do that. When I seen the f footage, I, I just... I just couldn't understand it, how you can get away with saying such vile stuff and laughing about it as if it's, it's normal. Like I've said, you don't know fuck all about me. Yeah, you don't know what my podcasts are about. I've had many survivors on from child abuse, um, sexual abuse, physical abuse. I've had people on who've lost many kids to violence. I've met, had many people on who's caused a lot of violence, but I understand the trauma and pain, but you don't see me laughing about it. Uh, I think you should be, uh, you should sit back and actually start thinking about what you're actually going to say because if that stuff's coming out of your mouth and you're thinking it's funny, then you shouldn't have the platform that you have. I find it embarrassing, I find it disturbing and you should be ashamed. Like, it's, um, yeah... When I seen the footage, I was shocked. I was thinking, what? And I, like I said earlier, I'm all for having a laugh and having a joke and people having an opinion. I'm all for free speech, but I don't think saying somebody's been abused by a parent is is uh, having an opinion. Um, it's just uh, very sad to see uh, two people with such uh, big followings laughing and joking about such serious things. I think both of you need a reality check. I think both of you need to actually sit across from survivors and actually have the chat with them to realise how hard that is to speak about that because it destroys our life forever. It's nothing, it's something they never get over. And for people to come on my show and pour their heart out, it gives other people strength to want to come forward and uh, make a stand and not give their abusers uh, all their energy and all their thought process and but for you to be sitting there laughing and joking about such serious things I think it's people like you who make people not want to come forward if you're laughing and joking about serious things your podcasts have been viewed nearly a billion times you've got ma mega following of millions of followers and it's sad to see uh, why so many people follow you with your mouth like that but, um, I'm just glad you are in America because I don't know what would happen if we were to cross paths, because I can assure you it won't be a hello and a, and a big smile, because stuff like that you should be ashamed of. And, um, yeah, very disturbing. And as a father, I think you need to, uh, to really think about your actions, um, because if anything that, ever, that your kids were ever abused or the school was ever shot up, I can assure you, you might not be laughing. But then again, with your personality and the things that you've said, you may find the funny side of that. Who knows? But for me, um, this was just to respond to it as I had so many messages about people, from people, uh, talking about what you actually said. Uh, people are disturbed. People are disgusted. And that is what it is. Hopefully you learn from that and hopefully you start thinking a, a bit more before you actually speak. But for me, yeah, I'm very disappointed even and Brittany, especially from a woman as well, like to be laughing and joking about that stuff. Uh, both of you are in the wrong. Um, and like I said, to having your opinion on Andrew, who was a guest on my platform, and going through him the way he's did and laughing about that, you hope he gets bullied, this and that. Like, I just, God forbid, that none of that serious stuff ever happens to you. You ever get that phone call about a school being shot, or, um, God forbid, I hope you don't get bullied because the stuff that you were saying was a hundred times worse than what Andrew was saying. So both of you should be ashamed 
and we'll just leave it at that but I wish you all the best for the future and I hope you really clean up that um, nonsense that you speak sometimes about people so because it doesn't just affect one people can affect a whole host of people so wish you all the best though and uh, just be careful next time the way you speak <laughs>